This video is not meant to target any specific race, but to be a response to the negative stereotypes in Camden. Camden, the ramshackle, dilapidated city, has been knocked down over the past decades. With crime occurring every day, poverty, marginalization, and disenfranchisement meandering about it, it almost seems that there is no hope for the city. Camden is trash. Camden is a filthy place. Worse than Detroit. It's a scuzzy suburb of Philly with savages. Camden is a toxic waste hole and should be burnt with everyone in it. At this point, these stereotypes have created an image of monkeys living in a crumbling, burning city. Oh, sorry, let's make this less marginalizing. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Because apparently the people of Camden are ignorant and don't know how to dress. You will always catch them looking a hot mess, and they probably don't even know the definition of professional. Yes, this is definitely how every single person in Camden is. Right? Well, wrong. For countless years, ever since the fall of Camden, the media has portrayed the city as an abhorrent to society, pointing out every single flaw and crime that has occurred. Now, yes, it is true that Camden isn't the safest place. Ne but neither are other cities, unless they are rich suburban or typically white. The reason it is like this is because of the st stereotypes that have been marked on Camden. They have led people to generalize the citizens of the city as, as seen in the article by the Rolling Stones. The truth about the city is that it is has had a very rough past. However, we must not quickly point and accuse one's past actions, but look at the present day and work hard for tomorrow. Not everyone in Camden is a rude, ignorant person. The city is filled with many hardworking, educated leaders, such as Tawanda Jones, a.k.a. Miss Wawa, who has created a drill team to kill, keep children safe in Camden. There are many polite, kind people who are willing to help you, but you have to stick around and find out. It's easy to quickly generalize an area, but difficult to see and look deeper into the cracks and crumbles and see the true beauty of it. So we know the issues we need to solve, but one thing remains. How do we do it? There is only one way. Get up and do something. Whether it is protesting the city council, going to community members to unify together to create a community garden, setting up community events, or creating your own organization, it is all imperative to the change of Camden. Go around asking for your fellow citizens to help. But of course, don't do it by yourself. There is such a thing as stranger danger. There are many issues in the invincible city seen in a dream, and it's all up to you to stop them. You are not too big or too small to make a change. Now my question to you is this. What will you do to step up and become an activist for? What will you do to help the city become successful?